Okay, we talked about how isothiocyanates can prevent cancer by deactivating a family of enzymes known as phase one biotransformation enzymes. But what if, in addition to deactivating carcinogens, we just got better at getting rid of them? I'm talking excretion, removing them from the body. This relies on a whole other family of enzymes for which isothiocyanates are known to activate called phase two detoxification enzymes. This effect is mediated via the NRF2 pathway, for which sulforaphane is the most potent naturally occurring inducer of. NRF2 is a very important pathway because it literally controls hundreds of genes by a short sequence of DNA that's present within a gene known as an antioxidant response element. NRF2 will bind to this short sequence of DNA and it will either activate or repress transcription of the gene. Phase two detoxification enzymes like glutathione S-transferase are important because they're able to deactivate procarcinogenic agents and transform them into water soluble conjugates, which are usually less reactive and are able to be excreted in urine and bile. Additionally, they lower DNA damage because they also lower the, the inflammation and reactive oxygen species burden. So it's a good thing that an increase in glutathione S-transferase is exactly what we see when people start bumping up their cruciferous vegetable consumption. In one study where participants were asked to eat 300 grams of Brussels sprouts per day, which is one of the cruciferous vegetables higher in isothiocyanate precursors, increased glutathione S-transferase circulating in their blood plasma by about 1.4 fold, while overall oxidative DNA damage went down by about 28%. Drops in DNA damage are a very good thing since these are ultimately what initiate cancer and are fundamental to the process of aging itself.